some watches in the market you look at them and you simply want to stop doing everything else to have a closer look for how they attract your eye you start to look at the case the dial and its components and try to explore the reason what is it that made the watch catch your eye so good and then you relate it with the history of the watch that is over 60 years long and then the story of how the watch served the function of telling the time you start to explore its availability versatility affordability and reliability and then you are simply tempted to find out more about the watch and the reason it's special Seiko Alpinist SPB 119 is the watch that you would be pushed to find a reason not to compliment. Looking at the strap and overall polished finish of the watch and then the very elegant 39.5mm case, you would think that this is a dressier offering by Seiko. But looking back at the history of this watch, even the name Alpinist that came from Japanese mountaineer Laurel Alpinist from 60s, it is a sports watch at heart. This dressier looking offering by Seiko then further arguably was the first sports watch by the manufacturer. To offer the same sporty attributes, the watch comes with 200 meters of water resistance, screw down crown with crown guards, inner rotating bezel and fully functional loom. The first thing you notice when you open the box is how small and variable the watch looks. The leather strap on top further helps with reducing the overall heft and variability of the watch. The watch comes in stainless steel case with polished and smooth bezel and brushed lugs. To further complement the sturdy characteristics of the watch, it comes with sapphire crystal for the case. And then there's a cyclops lens, which is one of the upgrades in this reference from last model. I personally like cyclops lens and not only it adds convenience by magnifying the date, but also a corrector to the watch. The date font is big, so reading date is not a problem at all. On the website, Seiko call the dial color as white and don't specify the treatment they do. The color and shade of this dial is more like a creamy white and in a very beautiful and unique way. The warmer tone of white on the dial adds to the subtlety of the watch and overall strengthens its daily characters and makes it less in your face. If you have seen this particular white dial variant and you couldn't figure why does it look more special than regular white dials. The reason is that this style is actually sunburst and those sunburst lines upon closer look are actually very well defined and sharp and give you all the lighter and darker shades. And although you can't see the radial lines from naked eye as they are very subtle, you get the experience and pleasure in your wrist experience. Another design aspect I truly appreciate about this watch is the applied hour markers. Looking at the price tag it carries. I must say that the applied hour markers for Arabic numerals is really a lot of joy and pleasure you are getting for your money. The hour markers being applied and then polished in their finish do play with the light and enhance the overall wrist experience. I like the way Arabic numerals and then the triangle shaped hour markers alternate in the dial to add more character to the watch. The finish of applied markers is actually pretty good for the price and I simply couldn't find any surface flaws on these other markers. They are not quite mirror polished but do come with decent polish work to overall glorify the experience. The text on the dial is sharp and overall there is no quality issues and any lower craftsmanship on display. The logo for Seiko is also applied however I can see some surface flaws and even voids in the metal. This isn't visible to naked eye but under macro the surface finish is easily not the best. But I don't think it's a big concern looking at the price of this watch. The dial hands is the second component of the watch that doesn't quite shine under the macro. Not only the hands are not properly machined or polished, the edges of the hands where the loom is filled and also the outer end show very rough surfaces. You don't quite see them with naked eye but when light reflects again the edges you do get to see high spots. The surfaces of hands are not even smooth and I think Seiko could have improved the hands quality or at the very least they could make them to the same finish as our markers. The joint for seconds hand shows the hole for allen key and you can see that there isn't much attention gone into decorating it. 
I would still not call it a deal breaker. Essentially, when you look at the price that the watch comes in and then the overall experience you get, I personally think it's still worth more than what you pay. It's just that Seiko should maintain the same standard of finish across all the components of the dial as opposed to the watch with inferior finish on the hands and relatively better on the hour markers and dial itself. It's just about the consistency of the craftsmanship and the quality across all the components in the dial and the watch overall. When you look at the applied markers and then the dial hands, you naturally assume that the hour markers will not be loomed being fully made of solid metal and that the watch loom may not be very functional to read the time in the dark. But see those small circles between the armor markers and the casing rehot. They are the loom circles. And you only realize that when you go into a darker ambience and the watch begins the magic. All the armor markers then turn into loom circles. And then the loom on the watch is really very bright. So much so that you can even see the dial color from the loom brightness. The loom is probably one of the strongest ones I've seen and shown on my channel. The watch comes with Seiko 6R35 caliber, which is three-handed movement with date function. The movement accuracy is from plus 25 to minus 15 seconds a day, which is not quite impressive. But the movement comes with 70 hours of power reserve. So when fully wound, you can leave it in your drawer for the weekend. And the watch will still be running on Monday. The watch comes with exhibition case back and while you do get to see and enjoy the movement beating at 21,600 vibrations per hour, it's a very basic movement aesthetically. But for this price point, again, a very good value for money. On the wrist, the 39.5mm Alpinist wears very elegantly. The watch lug to lug is 46mm and on my wrist size of 6.5 inches with the wrist span of 55mm, the watch stays in the center of the wrist and the lugs contour with the wrist beautifully. The 20mm strap marries great with the watch case and contours to the wrist very well. The watch comes in the reverse arrangement for straps and you have the open side of the strap facing 6 o'clock side of the case or let's say facing yourself as opposed to a typical arrangement where the open side of the strap faces outward. I prefer the typical arrangement with the open side facing away in the wrist shot as you get to enjoy the strap itself better but it's subjective so I'll leave it at that. The case thickness of watch is a little over 13 mm so it's a relatively thicker watch but given the sporty characteristics I don't find it disproportionate. The all polished case with brushed lux and then the polished bevels add to the overall joy and wrist experience. And you simply cannot find a flaw in the wrist wear, especially when you consider the very affordable price tag it carries. I even like the box that the new Alpinist comes in. And the overall presentation is even better than more costly and sporty offering Marine Master, which is about five times its price. Seiko Alpinist SPB 119 is the watch that ticks all the right boxes for affordability, availability, reliability and ruggedness with the sports watch in a flesh and size that can easily be used as a dress watch. The versatility on offer is something you'd be pushed to find an event that this watch will not work with. It wears beautifully, gives you the experience, carries the history and it essentially comes in the price that you simply can't go wrong with. It isn't a watch that you will use the loop on to find the attention to detail but it sure is the watch that when looked from the wrist view will mesmerize your eyes with virtually everything that it has to offer.